Here we have a question on fraction and percentage calculations and converting between the two. If you haven't had a go at this question, do pause it and have a go now. Okay, so we could take different approaches for this. Um, I'm going to show you a couple, so let's see how it goes. So 3 eighths of the students watch film A and 40% of the students watch film B. Now I could do this purely as a, a fraction question by converting 40% into a fraction. 40% is 40 out of 100, which is 4 out of 10, or 2 out of 5. So we've got 3 eighths watch film A, 2 fifths watch film B, so how many is that in total? So 3 eighths plus 2 fifths. To do that we need to convert them into something that has the same denominator. Um, one way of doing that is just to multiply the two numbers to make it out of 40. So 8 fives are 40, 3 fives are 15, so that's 15 out of 40 because we're timesing 8 by 5 and 3 by 5. To make 2 fifths out of 40 we times by 8, so we times 5 by 8 to get 40, 2 times 8 is 16. And that would give us 31 out of 40 students uh, watched A and B, so that leaves us with 9 out of 40 watch film C. Okay, and it does ask for a fraction as your answer, so um, that's probably the best way of going about it. We could try a different approach. We could do it out of a number that we know that these will go into. Um, it does help if we know uh, that 40%, maybe at the very least we know it's 4 out of 10. Okay, because well, it's 40 out of 100, we know it's 4 out of 10, which we had before. If we know it's 4 out of 10 and we've got 3 out of 8 students watch film A, if we make it out of 80 students, for example, because we know 8 and 10 go into 80, so of 80 students. Now, 1 eighth of 80 equals 10 students, so 3 eighths will be 30 students. And uh, 4 tenths, or 40%, or 10% would be 8 students, so 4 lots of that would be 32 students. Or we could, um, sorry, 4 tenths of 80. So 1 tenth is 8, 4 of them is going to be 32. So 4 tenths is 32, 3 eighths is 30. So 30 plus 32 is 62 students. And how many students was it out of? Well, it was out of 80. So we've got 62 out of 80 students. Now that should be equivalent to that. But it's, oh, that's, that's before we take it away, isn't it? So... That's how many students watch film A and film B, so that implies that we've got 18 out of 80 watching film C. And if we cancel that down by dividing by 2, we get 40, 9 out of 40. Okay, so we can do it with a fixed number, but we've got to be clever with the number we use, and a little bit clever with the changing percentage into a fraction that we can use. We could change this into percentage, but I think that would make life a bit difficult. So there we go. It's a three mark question. Um, there's probably a, a method mark along the way for realising you've got to take your answer away from one because we've got to work out A and B. Um, you'll certainly get um, one mark for adding them together. Um, well, probably two marks for adding them together and then one for taking it away from one. Or if you did it this way, there's probably some marks in there for you um, for showing that you've got some values out of out of a certain number.